Solve an equation when we have a variable on both sides. In this equation, we have a positive x on the left-hand side and a negative 4x on the right-hand side. In order to solve for x, what we want to do is look at the side of the equation that has a lower x value. This side just has the positive x, and this side has the minus 4x. So the minus 4x is a lower value of x terms, so this is the side I want to cancel out. To cancel out a minus 4x, I would add 4x to both sides. Here the minus 4x and the plus 4x are going to cancel each other out. So all I have now on the right hand side is 17. Over here if I have an x and I add 4x's, that's going to give me 5x's. I bring down my plus 2. Now I'm down to a two-step equation. From here I can just subtract 2 from both sides. The 2's will cancel. So I have now 5x equals 17 minus 2 will give me 15. Down to a one-step equation, and here all I do is divide both sides by 5. 5x five is divided by 5 gives me a positive x. 15 divided by 5 gives me 3. So my answer is x equals 3. In this example, <clears throat> again, we're going to look at our variable. On the left-hand side, I have a positive n, and on the right-hand side, I have a positive 9n. So since this side is the lower value of the variable, this is the side I want to cancel out. So to cancel out this positive n, all I have to do is subtract n. If I do a subtract n on the left-hand side, I have to do the same thing on the right-hand side. So over here, n minus n cancels each other out. Here it's important, we're not going to bring down just a 9, we're also going to bring down a minus sign. And we're bringing down, basically bringing down a negative 9. Here, if I have 9 n's and I take away 1 n, that's going to leave me with 8 n's. Bring down my plus 15. Here again, down to a two-step equation. I just subtract 15 from both sides. Negative 9 minus 15 is going to give me a negative 24. Bring down my 8 n. The 15's cancel each other out. Now I'm down to a one-step equation. From here, I just divide both sides by 8. Negative 24 divided by 8 is going to give me negative 3. 8n divided by 8 gives me n. So my answer is n equals negative 3.